<laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed box bite. What's happening, my fellow vibers? It's your boy Lex. I'm back at it once again with another mad interesting reaction over here. Like today we finna check out another Capoeira session, more specifically Capoeira knockouts. Now, some people might start to scratch their heads and think, Capoeira? Hang on, hang on. Ain't that that Brazilian type dance? That kind of looks like a combo of break dancing and Kung Fu. Bingo! You know how to tingo. Word up, y'all. That's exactly right. That's exactly what makes this particular type of combat sport so freaking interesting and entertaining to watch. Are those crazy and jaw-dropping fighting techniques that I don't think you find in any other type of combat sport. La Capoeira, also known as Brazilian Kung Fu, is called Brazilian Kung Fu for a reason. Because back in the day, Brazil had mad slaves just like America. And in order to endure their captivity back in those times and in order to defend themselves against their oppressors they came up with a sort of undercover style of dancing which was actually just a cover-up to be able to create a way of defending themselves without getting caught so they couldn't be like whoosh, 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 behind bars because the guards would have known what's going on and sadly punish them accordingly so they were super clever by inventing this this brand new blend of fighting and dancing back in those times it's brilliant man and little did these guys know, they actually made history and started one of the biggest and most entertaining types of combat sports slash movements coming out of Brazil. Till this day, it's mad popular and all over the place. <laughs> That's why I'm more than hyped to check out this particular clip over here showcasing the biggest capoeira knockouts. Now, a lot of people might find this odd if they don't know anything about capoeira, but these capoeira cats, I gotta say, them guys kick ass. Like, I'm fully aware that there's a lot of show fighting involved. Like, I'm sure there's gonna be critics that will argue that the capoeira guys doing a little too much and that some of their crazy backflips and all of that might be overkill. But then again, that's why it's important uh, just to touched on the history of capoeira because I feel like it's crucial to know at least a tiny bit of the background history of how it all came about to get the full picture, to get a better understanding of the original concept of capoeira and so you can have more appreciation for it, you know what I'm saying? So I can't even tell you guys how pumped you boys right now to just hit play. So without further ado, the Vemos Commissar, that's how they say it in Brazil. Are you guys ready? Man, I'm telling you I was born ready, let's get it. Yee! Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed box bite. Oh, that kick was insane. <laughs> That foot, his opponent couldn't do anything about it. That foot came flying towards him like an unstoppable rocket, which then exploded on his forehead. Like, <laughs> damn, that's wild. <laughs> Before I forget to mention it, make sure to hit that subscribe button real fast. It's going to help me a lot to determine what type of content you guys like the most, especially for you to stay posted on my latest content. Much love. I appreciate y'all.
another massive foot shot in the face. A guy be fast like crazy, a guy is mad responsive, and his reflex is on point. Like he be overwhelming his opponent to the point where you can actually see the confusion and helplessness as he's repeatedly attacking him with these hard ass shots like that of a cannon. Boom, puff, pow. Boom, puff, pow. The most intelligent words on the planet that the Matrix hides from you. Like, it don't stop. Like, the moment you step into the ring, it's on, baby. Woof. That capoeira shit is wild. Like, I already said this before, but don't underestimate capoeira. Sure, it's more than just your traditional combat sport. It's an actual art form. Like, you gotta have a lot of sophisticated and artistic nature up your sleeve to be a big capoeira fighter and show your opponent what's up. Let's get going, though. Na tela do esporte interativo, aí o Cairo Rocha. Cairo Rocha! Espetacular! Incrível, Cairo! Yo, funny enough, that did not look like performing a good old backwards kick. It actually looked like Lionel Messi trying to shoot a goal. E você acompanha no replay, Hugo? E pegou no queixo do Chico Six. O chute frontal pegou no Cairo. Colou o braço ali, o Cairo quase ficou. Foi na pedalada. Fantástico o golpe do Michel. Os dois francamente se atacando. Termina um espetacular. Vantagem. Então ele conseguiu bons golpes, apesar. Outra vez o Michel Pereira com o Rocha andando para trás. Olha os fixos. De novo. Acionando todo o ato. Outra vez é pra janela de encontro, não conseguiu pegar, tentou o upper, não pegou também o Cairo. Pegou forte o chute giratório na cintura, olha só! No corner, no corner neutro, partiu pro, pro janela de encontro de novo, vai tentar sair. Termina a luta! Olha só como começou o segundo. O Thiago Alves tá falando pra ele ali, falando, irmão, você fez a melhor luta que eu já vi na vida, ele realmente fez mesmo. Yo, the way these capoeira cats move is hella nuts. Like, I've always been a fan of capoeira. Starting off watching movies like Only the Strong or, or actually watching some of these performances live. Obviously, in Brazil, the capoeira culture is much bigger than in America or Europe, but it definitely had a big impact on combat sport and also caused some raising eyebrows like i already touched on since it's not your traditional combat sport there's a lot of movement involved which if you ask me makes it a hell of an entertaining sport no doubt Yo, that looked nuts. Like, it doesn't look like your typical fighting moment. It looks like a vulture on its search for food and grabbing this guy like it's dinner time. Brad Wharton and Colin Howes at Cade, so I'm privileged to call the action here tonight from the Mount Batten Centre. Needs the bread basket from Gray. He's landed a few of those now. Oh, unbelievable! Oh, unbelievable! Oh my gosh! I 
uh, similar techniques uh, derived from the capoeira style, which which is uh, more of a, a, a dance-based martial art now. Yes. Yo, the other guy didn't have a chance. It's just game over, man. <laughs> that was absolute bonkers. <laughs> it's game over, man. Like, <laughs> some of these fighting moments are just bonkers. But, you know, it does kind of highlight the crazy nature of some of the aspects of martial arts and what those fighters are actually capable of. <laughs> The genius kid of Capoeira has struck again. <laughs> I am the original Dandana.